now we will do an exercise question 3 from the practice exercises Fleming had the following transactions on July 1st he purchased goods from Adams for 5000 less trade discount of 15% followed by 4% cash discount therefore the purchase cost here will be 5000 plus 15 percent of 5000 which will four two five zero so this will be the purchase cost and the entry will be purchase account debit to adams therefore let's see how the entry will be recorded therefore the purchase account in the purchase account, Adam's account will be debited and in Adam's account, the purchase account will be credited and the amount will be 4250. Now please note that trade discount is not recorded in the box and the cash discount here will not be adjusted now because it is allowed at the time of payment. On July 4th, Fleming purchased goods from Bond for 2500 less trade discount of 10% followed by a 4% cash discount. Therefore, the purchase cost here will be 2500 less 10% of 2500 which will be 2250. Now again the entry will be purchase account debit to bond. Therefore in purchases account bond account will be debited and in bond account purchases will be credited. July 5 returned goods which had cost $600 to Adams. Now one thing to note is that when Fleming purchased the goods from Adams, the trade discount was applicable. Therefore, while he is returning the goods, that time also trade discount needs to be adjusted. Therefore, it will be 600 minus 15% which will be goods worth of 510. And the entry here will be Adam's account debit to purchase return. Therefore, in Adam's account, purchase return account will be debited. And in purchase returns account, Adam's account will be credited. July 7, purchased goods from Astor for 7,000 less trade discount of 20%. Followed by a 5% cash discount. Therefore, the purchase cost here will be 7000 less 20% of 7000, which will be 5600. And again, the entry will be purchase account debit to Astel account. Therefore, in purchases account, Astel account will be debited and in as still account, the purchases will be credited. Now, July 9, returned goods which had cost of 800 to Astor. Now, again, your trade discount needs to be adjusted. Therefore, 800 minus trade discount applicable for Astor, which was 20%. 800 minus 20 percent of 800 which will be 640 and will be recorded by the entry astral account debit to purchase return therefore in astral's account purchase returns account will be debited and in purchases returns account astral account will be credited July 10, purchase goods from Cairns for 
4200 plus 10% rate discount and cans allowed Fleming of 5% for the cash discount. Now the purchase cost will be 4200 plus 10% of 4200 which will be 3780 and will be recorded by the entry purchase account debit to Kent's. Therefore, in purchases account, Kent's account will be debited and in Kent's account, purchases will be credited. Now, the last entry on July 14, this is the most important entry. Fleming settled all accounts owing to his suppliers by check that is through bank taking advantage of cash discount on each case now this is the time when we will record for the cash discount and settle the amount due now for adams if you see the purchases balance the purchase cost was 4250 and the purchase return was 510. Therefore, let's ca now calculate the cash discount. For add and the purchase cost was 4250 less the purchase returns which was for 510 the balance being 3740 now we will adjust the cash discount Therefore, less cash discount of 4%. Therefore, 4% 4 of 3740, which will be approximately $150. And therefore, the final amount due to Adam will be. Now we will record both of these entries which will be for discount and the amount due. For the cash discount, as Adam is the customer, therefore it is his gain and so the entry will be discount received debit to Adam's account. Therefore in discount received account, Adam's will be credited by if you can see 150 and in Adam's account there is a discount received of 150 which is being debited and also for settling the amount due as Adam's is paying therefore the bank account will be debited by 3590 and in bank account Adam's account will be credited by 3590. Now let's see for bond. For bond, the purchase cost is 2250 and there is no purchase return. Therefore, for bond, The purchase cost is two two five zero less four percent cash discount, which is four percent of two two five zero. That is nineteen dollars. And the final amount due being 
2160. Now we will pass the same entries that is in bond account discount received account will be debited and in discount received account bond account will be credited by 90 and the amount settled will be by debiting the bank account in bonds account for 2160 and in bank account crediting bonds account. Now let's see for Astil. Astil had a purchase cost of 5600 but also included a purchase return of 640. So now let's calculate the balance purchase cost. For Aspen, the purchase cost was five six zero zero less purchase six forty which gives the balance of 4960 less cash discount of 5% therefore 5% of Four nine six zero. That is two hundred and forty eight, and the final amount due to be two hundred and forty eight. Now let's record the, the discount of two forty eight, and the final amount due of four seven one two. Therefore, in Astral account, discount received account will be debited by 248 and in discount received account, Astral account will be credited by 248 and the amount settled will be by debiting the bank account in Astral account of 4712 and in bank account, crediting Astral account 4712. Now our last supplier that is Kens. Let's see. Let's settle his account. For Kens, the purchase is three seven eight zero, and there has been no purchase returns. Therefore, for Kens, the purchase cost is. Three seven eight zero less cash discount of five percent, therefore five percent of three seven eight zero that is one eighty nine and the balance amount due being. And as you can see, the discount received is being debited in CAN's account of 189 and then discount received account CAN's is being credited and the amount due is also being settled by debiting the bank account in CAN's account of 3591 and in bank account crediting can account now for also a checking measure you can also tally the accounts and see if there is no balancing figure